Hey everybody, this is Mike Fahey with Kotaku, and I am playing Lineage 2 Revolution on my iPad. Now this is a mobile MMO released by Netmarble. It is the sequel to Lineage 2, which itself is a prequel to Lineage 1 from NCSoft. It is an MMO that, you, that basically plays itself. Now here's my character. I can control her with this virtual joystick on the screen or I can hit auto and she'll start attacking things. Now, I wrote about it a couple weeks back, about how it basically plays itself, and then I've been playing it for two weeks straight now, uh, every single day. I enjoy it playing itself, because basically this gives me the ability to do all the MMO things I enjoy doing, logging in, doing some quests, getting some gear, running a few dungeons, in a very short span of time, with little effort, and it doesn't take as much time as a traditional MMO. I don't have that much time these days, I really don't. So here's my character, I'll set her on auto again. While I'm on auto, I can go to the shop, I can use my friendship points to buy a free box, I can buy premium currency, it is that sort of game, and there is an element of if you buy enough stuff, you're gonna have better equipment than everybody else. But I'm not too concerned about that. I'm not concerned about rankings. I'm not concerned about being the very best. I just like watching my character progress. Here she is right here. And she's still fighting in the background. This is uh, Fahey, my level 52 War Ranger. She is a dwarf. There are four character, uh, four character races. Uh, female dwarf, female elf, male dark elf, and male human. Very limited selection. But it helps keep the game running smoothly when you only have basically four main character models and all these monsters running around. So while I'm fighting, I can look at my quest, I can choose some daily quests, I don't like that selection, I want an R. Use soul shots. I can get a hundred combo, easy. Uh, enhance equipment, sure. Now right now there's a main story, but my character has to be level 54. There's Erica, she pops up for every once in a while and gives you advice. So I am behind on the main story quest. I'm right now grinding levels. I'm almost level 53. I have to have one more level after that. That doesn't really kick in until around your 30s, I think. Until then, you can kind of follow the story quest through. But there's a lot of stuff to do outside of the story. Uh, there's challenges, quests, there's events. There's my login reward. Ooh, got a chest. And all of this maintenance can be performed while your character is actually doing something. Ooh, 30,000 Adina, that's pretty good. I can, uh, go in here, I can open up some chests. Ooh, an auto clear, which do I want? Trials experience? I like trials. There are a whole bunch of dungeons you can play. Like the Trials, uh, Temple of Insolence. Trials of Experience. Let's see if I can auto-clear this. I just got a huge ch- oh, level 53. There we go. My mastery level's increased. I get a special chest every time I level. Go to my mailbox. Pull that out. There's a social aspect to it, too. I have a clan. There's all the people in my clan. I'm the most powerful right now because uh, I am dedicated. I am dedicated to sitting here and watching my screen do things while I'm doing other things. There's a friends list. You can collect the greetings, greet them for friend points. And you can actually go into a dungeon event. If you'll notice on the bottom of the screen here, on the bottom right of the screen, You've got a red potion, blue potion, and purple thing. As long as you have those in stock, your character will automatically use them if you're fighting. We need a combo expert. Claim that reward. Oh, that's a good one. Start that. So it's really just a matter of maintenance. You make enough coin through selling equipment or by doing quests to keep in stock of those three things there. The power shots, the purple thing. Uh, that's kind of like an enhancement to your normal attacks, and it's addictive. If you can avoid getting that, you're probably better off. I could not avoid it. We have a list of daily activities for me to perform every day. 
and I, I fill this out religiously, and then I go about my business, and every once in a while I'll just leave the game on with it plugged into the charger, the iPad, and let them go to town, let Fahey go to town here. Uh, I've never died doing that. Got some rewards. And let me just hop into a dungeon real quick while I'm at it. There's a bunch of different activities to do here. The Elite Dungeon. Uh, let's see, Achieve a Monster Core. Let's enter that dungeon. And, and here you'll see large groups of people swarming around in auto attack. If I have anything to say about it. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Why is everyone just standing around? Oh, there they go. Turn on auto attack and... Well... It's kind of a spectacle. Most of these people are on auto right now, just running around this dungeon, uh, gaining experience by killing monsters in this massive mob. I'm invited to join a party. Now I'm in a party. And uh, let's go ahead and end it right here because I'm going to set my iPad down and just uh, let this mob do the work for me. This is Lineage 2 Revolution. I'm Mike Fahey with Kotaku. Thanks for watching. I'm going to continue not technically playing this game for a long time. Before.